In this class, we would like to find out some important parameters of free electron gas at absolute zero temperature. We have the expression for density of allowed energy states as dE equal to c e to the power half, where c is b by 2 pi square 2 m by h cross square whole to the power 3 by 2. So now, we would like to find out the expression for Fermi energy level EF0 at t equal to 0 Kelvin. What is the Fermi energy level? It is the highest field energy level at absolute zero temperature. So this is the EF0 and we want to calculate or we want to find the expression for the Fermi energy level. So what is the process? First we know that Ne represents the density of field energy states at energy E. So this is Ne is the density of field energy states that means number of field energy states per unit range of energy. If the energy is E and the next energy state is E plus 1 then how many field energy states are there? It is the Ne. So if we want to calculate the number of field energy states in the range E and E plus D we can find out by this term NEDE where Ne is the density of field energy states that is the number of energy states per unit range of energy hence in this range d number of field energy state is NEDE hence the total number of electrons which is equivalent to the total number of field energy states as we know from our previous lectures that each energy state may contain only one electron each energy state recall this each energy state contains only one electron hence the number of field energy state is equivalent to the number of electrons so the total number of field energy states or number of electrons can be found out if we integrate the field energy states in the range E and E plus D from 0 to infinity. Here we have taken all possible energy values. As we know the expression for Ne, Ne equal to DE, Fe where DE is the density of allowed energy states and Ne is the density of field energy states. So if we place DEFE in the place of any, we will get the total number of energy states, field energy states or number of electrons is integration 0 to infinity DEFE DE. And we have the expression for FE at absolute zero temperature. We know from the characteristics of Fermi distribution function f e equal to 1 for e less than e f 0. So in this range 0 to e f 0 the value of f e is 1 and outside this e f 0 f e equal to 0. So we will use this characteristics of Fermi function to evaluate this integral. So next move to the integral parts. Therefore n becomes 0 to EF0 we have divided the integration 0 to infinity as 0 to EF0 and EF0 to infinity so we find n equal to 0 to EF0 de fe de plus EF0 to infinity de fe de and we will use the expression for de that is c e to the power half then n becomes 0 to EF0, C e to the power half and in this range 0 to EF0 as we know the Fermi function is 1 so we have used the value 1 here and EF0 to infinity D is C e to the power half but the Fermi function becomes 0 hence the second term is equal to 0. So n that is the number of field energy states becomes 
c e to the power half if we do the integration we will get 2 third e to the power 3 by 2 and the limit is 0 to ef0 and if we use the proper limit we will get n equal to 2 third c ef0 to the power 3 by 2 so we find out the expression for field energy states in terms of Fermi energy now if we use the expression for constant C then we will get n equal to 2 third v by 2 pi square 2 m by h cross square whole to the power 3 by 2 ef0 to the power 3 by 2 therefore n becomes this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled out and n becomes v by 3 pi square 2m by h cross square whole to the power 3 by 2 ef0 to the power 3 by 2 and this gives the expression for total number of electrons or field energy states at absolute zero temperature from this equation we can find out ef0 to the power 3 by 2 equal to h cross square by 2m whole to the power 3 by 2 3 pi square n by v or ef0 equal to h cross square by 2m whole to the power sorry h cross square by 2m 3 pi square n by v whole to the power 2 third so this is the final expression for fermi energy level at absolute zero temperature now if we define n by v that is the number of electrons divided by total volume of the sample as small n that is the electron concentration then in place of n by v we can use the small n so in terms of electron concentration the fermi energy expression becomes h cross square by 2m 3 pi square n whole to the power 2 third so using this expression now we will find out the fermi energy level for the silver crystal we want to find out ef0 for the silver crystal that is what is the energy value of the fermi energy level if we consider our metal as silver so we have the expression ef0 equal to h cross square by 2m 3 pi square n whole to the power 2 third so first as we know h cross is a constant which is h by 2 pi it is the reduced form of the Planck constant and m is the mass of the valence electron and 3 pi are all constants so we have to first calculate the n that is the electron concentration so let silver is a monovalent and the density of the silver is 10.5 gram per semi cube and its atomic weight is 107.87 we know that the number of atoms per mole which is the Avogadro number is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 hence the electron concentration is the total number of electron divided by the volume and volume will get by atomic weight divided by density so n becomes 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 divided by atomic weight is 107.87 divided by 10.05 so if we substitute in our expression ef0 that is all the values of h cross m 3 pi square and small n we will get the fermi energy value for the silver crystal or silver metal is near about 5.51 electron volt in this table the ef0 that is the fermi energy level at absolute zero for some metals are tabulated we can see for sodium the fermi energy level at absolute zero temperature is 3.12 electron volt for potassium it is 2.14 electron volt for copper it is 7.04 electron volt for silver it is 5.51 we have al already calculated this value 
and you can calculate all this value through the expression ef0 and for beryllium it is 3.8 aluminium it is little bit higher 11.7 electron volt for lithium it is 4.72 rubidium it is 1.82 electron volt but the average fermi energy for metals it is the order of 5 electron volt this means that even at absolute zero temperature there will be some electrons with approximately 5 electron volt energy and this feature cannot be observed in the classical theory according to the classical mechanics we know that at absolute zero the energy of all electrons must be zero but quantum mechanically we find out that there must be certain energy level which we called the fermi energy level and the energy may be in the range from 0 to ef0 even at absolute zero temperature in the next class we would like to discuss about the average kinetic energy of an electron and rest of the parameters